Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday Night Nightcap. In tonight's nightcap, I finish off that little threaded adapter for the fire extinguisher for the large rally car. I show you quite a bit of that. I hope you find it interesting. In part two, I do like a bit of a, it's all milling machine work. Uh, when I was at the Classic Car Show, I noticed there was some fabricating tables, like a, like a tabletop with lots of holes in and clamps for setting welding jobs up like a welding jig. Uh, I had a nice piece of aluminium plate, so I decided to make myself a, a weld position, clamp, table, whatever you want to call it, like a welding jig. I show you quite a bit of that. I hope you find that interesting. That's the fitting screw at the bottle quite nicely, and what he wants is that thread on the outside, which is half inch BSP. And you can see how that's piss wobbly in there. So that is a BSP thread, but it's one of our size. They decided to make the bottle to stop you doing this, I think. So it's got a flat face on there inside. That face is flat, so it needs to, like a washer on there to seal it. So I'm going to screw cut a piece of brass bar to screw into there, because I've got the layers set up. Then we'll screw it into there, nice and tight, onto a face there. And I can machine these half inch BSP fitting on the other end. I was going to show that's on the name, but I've decided against it. I'll measure the depth and how deep it needs to be. And then we'll go add it from there. This is taking a lot longer than I thought. It's uh, interesting. I like doing this sort of work, but anyway. That's going to be the plan. Screw, screw cut a piece of board to fit in there and then board it out the same size as that and then on this end we shall put some half inch BFP threads. I'm going to make the adapter out of stainless because it's the only bit of hexagon I've got the right size. Right, now we want the OD turning down to the diameter of the outside of the thread. I need 15 mm of thread on to screw to that fitting. The first thing we'll do is we'll make a round. Running out the size already. Try a different tool. Try me my favourite bango tool. Set the zero on there. No one fifteen minute thread. Off the mill off that. Nasty stringy swore comes off this stainless horrible bastard stuff it is. Cutting the ribbons doesn't uh, doesn't turn you prison as you do and put your hands anywhere near the swore. Right to so that bang on. I'm going to put a recess in for my scroll cutting tool to drop in now and then we'll cut the thread and go from there. I'll put a little lead on the end as well just to make things nice and gentle.
That's where you would see Just about there. Just makes it easy. When you come to the end of the thread. Right, so we'll set a tool up into there, get that thread cut. Right, that's a 14 TPI form tool on there, dead on centre height. The air box is still set to cut the 14 TPI. I'm going to slow things down quite a bit because we are going on to a shoulder, that should be alright. Just going to touch it off. Right, that's a half minute to engage the stop that way until the job's finished. So I've got to stop it on the clutch. It's ideal this machine having the clutch out like a door with a start stop button. I've done it before, it's not easy. Exactly the same procedure as for the internal thread. Except you can see what you're doing. Build a new brush, I think. That's good, I like it. Right, we'll settle for that. Definitely. They're really horrible. Shavings that have come off that drill, very sharp. Next one, 15 mil, the thread from that shoulder.
hard enough stainless and sexy bar without a tip tool is not one of my favourite occupations but we'll give it a go we've got to be brave and keep the feet on going all right for a little Chinese high speed parking tool It's only a kick in the arse for being a complete disaster this I'm sure I drilled deep enough so I haven't got to part it all the way off. Must be getting me out of 12 mil in there now. I should just drop off quite nicely. I haven't drilled deep enough. Tank later there, John. It's actually pushing a little bit of chuck there. Come on, give in. I haven't uh, gone deep enough by a long way there. So I've put the brass bush back in the collar chuck. A little bit of Loctite. Got one seal on there. Once this is in, that'll be the end of it, it's in for good. Right, that's going to go nowhere. So now I've got a machine, basically, that's fitting on the end of there, which is half inch BSP. I'm going to screw cut this so once again I'm going to put a little recess in there for my screw cutting tool to drop into and the layer's already set up to cut the 14 TPI so I might as well screw cut it
so exactly the same procedure as before touch it off put some cut on engage the feed nuts and then stop it using the clutch So that's a nice half inch BSP fed on there. I've just got the inside of the machine now, bore out a little counter sink or a little chamfer, and that's the job done. It's taken a lot longer than I thought. I've spent a, a bit of time going into this, a bit of thought, a bit of time. A standard Coenex fitting on the end of it, 15 mil copper pipe. I think he's using Ooh, a little bit deeper. That's it. Then a chamfer on the outside end. Should do the job quite nicely. We all have to sit in do. Looks good. Are you happy with that now? A little rag to take off it. No matter with that. Not very often the job makes me bleed, but this bastard has. Sure, it'll be reflected in the price. Nice little copper washer goes on there, and it seals on that flat face in there. And there you have BSP bastard thread. It's a half inch BSP Coenex fitting. <clears throat> Not too shabby, I'm sure I'll be happy with that. That's the adapter, centres on the end of there. 